Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family, and this is Happy Hour from Georgian Bay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Hoist the mainsail, here I come. Ain't no room on board for the incense. Well, last week, we took you all through our adventure on the Trent Severn, and it was really one of the highlights of our loop, uh, but so is this. Here we are in Georgian Bay, mm -hmm. and uh, we have been here a little over a week, I think, probably, maybe <laughs> maybe coming up on two. It all kind of runs together. Uh, we spent a lot of time on anchor in places like this. Yes. So we finished up the Trent Severn, we went through the big chute, uh, which was an adventure all its own, then our final lock, and then out into Georgian Bay. And uh, it's not all big open water, at least the way we're doing it. We're using the small um, boat canal, and it comes in and out in some places, out into the big water. But uh, like here tonight, we are anchored in the Bustard Islands. Uh, uh, but let's catch you up on what we have been up to uh, in Georgian Bay. So the first anchorage we went to was Chimney Bay. Yep. So it's on the south side of Busala Island, and it's popular with locals. And so we stayed there the first night, and every anchorage that we at, we're at, we've done paddleboarding and swimming, and it's, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> Shot time. No. Take two. No. <laughs> Fumble. Got it. Woo! I'm gonna show you how it's done. Take six. We just found a snake. We were in the water, we are forever traumatized. A few moments later. Chicken suits going big. And then the next day, we went also on Frying Pan Island, uh, to Frying Pan Bay, also on Bosola Island. But there we had to stay, we stayed at the dock. Um, and then we could uh, walk to the island and we took a great hike up to uh, Ferry Lake. Um, it was interesting because a lot of the hike was uh, decking. It's a provincial park, but so they, like they, soggy areas were like yeah decked over had had deck so you didn't get mud and then uh, a lot of it was just granite and you just hike over granite so right. it's easy like, to lose the trail like the rocks behind us yeah but yeah fun to hike from the boat that was kind of cool mm -hmm. uh, and then from there wreck island and. Uh, 
which is aptly named, I nearly wrecked the drone, which is the footage that you saw uh, at <laughs> oh, the, be so lucky. the beginning of this uh, video. But uh, that's where we anchored in, at Wreck Island, and uh, very lucky I didn't lose the drone. But uh, yeah, got you some great pictures of the very tops of uh, some pine trees there. That was a gorgeous protected area. Yeah, again, swimming and paddle boarding. The, we even towed the kids uh, on the paddle board behind the mm -hmm. high field, which was just awesome fun. Uh, we hadn't done that before and uh, so they've been wanting to do that for quite a while. It was a perfect spot to do it. And then the next day we took a day trip to uh, the falls, Moon River Falls. So for us that took us about an hour um, by Highfield from Wreck Island over to Moon River Falls mm -hmm. and we had a great time. We hiked up to the falls. Uh, we had a bit of a surprise uh, when we got up there to the falls which we'll share with you. So here we are at Moon River Falls in very remote uh, portion of Georgian Bay in uh, Canada and uh, we met some viewers uh, yet again. This is like three days in a row, three different viewers uh, that we have met. One at a fuel dock that radioed us as witness and said hello. Uh, one at a restaurant, Henry's, where we were having fish and chips and uh, actually ran into them down here on the rocks as well as we were arriving, they were leaving. And then Kevin and uh, his wife and some friends up here at the top of the falls just as we were climbing up in flip-flops to the top of these uh, very remote falls uh, uh, here in Canada and he says on fire family <laughs> so it has been absolutely insane just these last few days with the remoteness and what you would think would be um, as isolated as we are uh, just such generous awesome viewers so uh, thank you for being cool and mm -hmm. awesome and uh, not creepers we've had zero experiences where we have showed up somewhere and uh, somebody has creeped us out and we really thank you that really speaks to to the, the quality of the people that view our channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, we're gonna go for a dip. Uh, we didn't feel comfortable swimming in the falls uh, right at the top up there. I guess there were some teenagers doing it earlier, not ours, um, but we're gonna go down here where it's a little calmer and cool off and uh, take the high field back to witness. Uh, this was about an hour dinghy ride for us. And, uh, and I, I recommend, uh, we just wore flip flops, I recommend wearing sandals with backs or like hiking sandals or more than flip-flops because it's a it's a pretty treacherous hike in uh, in the rock and we brought Bella too and yeah. uh, we had to carry her the last bit to get her to the top of well, the falls Mason did. we didn't <laughs> and I'm not sure she really appreciated the, uh, the falls experience so uh, but better to have her on the dinghy she loves dinghy rides and so uh, that for sure is one of the highlights for her but uh, the falls themselves probably not so much <laughs> anyway we're going for a dip cheers cheers um, we forgot we had lunch at Henry's there's famous Henry's uh, fish and chips and it's kind of an indoor outdoor restaurant because uh, there's not really that much around there uh, but it's a good time to, to dingy in float planes come in from Perry Sound to visit it yeah it was delightful yeah and again uh, another dinghy ride so we've been using the yeah. dinghy so much here in Georgian Bay uh, it really is has, has been like the way to explore and get around and, and enjoy so uh, anchor and dinghy uh, for sure uh, and then we went to Perry Sound so Perry Sound we it's a bigger kind town. of town uh -huh. and so we were able to provision and do laundry and the kids fell in love with this used bookstore oh my gosh it just cranny just nooks and crannies books everywhere and madeline was just in heaven kids and i hit the brewery trestle brewing company lots that of ice cream, good stuff. Lots of ice, cream. Uh, ice cream we even had brunch there so yes. uh, it was good, good uh, and then onward so uh we met up with another wow. the another looper family nice app that yes. we've kind of loop frog with they crossed their wake and so they're flying the gold burgee now uh, and so we weren't sure we had said goodbye uh, a couple of times <laughs> a couple of times already uh but they have an uh kind of an annual raft up with uh, a bunch of their canadian buddies and mm -hmm. they invited us to come and hang out and so uh, what a party that was uh, the kids yeah. got to swim and play with other kids uh, we did a huge dinghy ride so six like caravan yeah six tenders and we all just went out exploring in Georgian Bay and that was fun with locals there was cliff jumping so uh, the, kids the kids jumped off the cliff the uh, just uh, wonderful uh, we did have a misadventure there uh, <laughs> which we'll share with you um, here in Georgian Bay, and 
fun. Everything was going great. Uh, we, had, we had so much fun. So much fun. Six dinghies, and uh, we did cliff jumping. It was amazing. Uh, but then we ran out of gas. Too much fun. Yeah. So our very nice friends, Ted, uh, has come over and helped us out and is towing us back to witness. Uh, thank you so much, Ted, from Nice Aft. Uh, Canadians in general, very awesome people. Thank you so much. Cheers. But other than that, we had a, a really great time dinging around, exploring Georgian Bay, mm -hmm. and uh, hanging out with our Canadian friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, so from Kilcorsi to Regatta Bay, and Regatta Bay is a kind of a famous anchorage up here, uh, and it was, but it was our first opportunity to stern anchor. So uh, in these deeper waters, sometimes it's 20 foot deep where you're anchoring, uh, you you don't have enough swing room in right. a tight anchorage to allow yourself to swing uh, all around your anchor, and so... And they're very popular. Yeah, and so they're packed. And so uh, what you do is you take a line off the stern and you go over to granite and you find a boulder and you tie off to a boulder. And so that's what we're doing again tonight. This is our second time to do that. Um, our first time was a little dicey because taking your precious propellers and backing them right <laughs> as close as you can get to granite is not always the most comfortable thing to do, but uh, we've come out unscathed and that's been uh, cool really to uh, tie off and to be able to dinghy around and to explore uh, from the boat uh, in these anchorages. So from Regatta, oh, we, we dingied over to Gillies, which is a famous uh, restaurant for lunch. Yeah, fish place. Uh, amazing fish, uh, really friendly service, and uh, just incredible. So we just left Gillies, uh, which is here on Georgian Bay. Uh, we are anchored nearby. There's this thin cut, the back way that we are going to take with the dinghy to get back to witness which we successfully anchored in this very tight spot with a uh, stern anchor, uh, or a stern tie off to this granite boulder that we tied off to. In uh, Regatta Bay. Uh, in Regatta Bay. A little bit dicey getting in and uh, secured, but glad that we did and glad we were able to enjoy this delightful lunch. Uh, and dessert. Recommended by uh, some of our Canadian looper friends. So thank you guys so much. And uh, we're gonna head back and maybe take a nap, maybe go for a swim. <laughs> Cheers. 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 And we've, we've burned more fuel in our dinghy uh, these last yeah. few weeks than we ever have on the entire loop, even the Bahamas. Uh, so uh, despite running out, we were nearly out again. And so uh, Gillies topped us off. Uh, it was great. Uh, and then from there, we spent another night with our uh, nice aft buddies on uh, Anna, Marina. Anna Marina, just because uh, that's where they were heading. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't have an anchorage for the night, so we thought we'd pull in there. Again, reprovision. And and, uh, yeah, we went to St. Amant's in Brit. Yeah, so that was great. Uh, we uh, They had a little store there that we oh, got some provisions. It's across the street. In fact, I went three times because, of course. Because uh, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then now we're in the Bustard Islands. And there's just little islands all around. And it's it's very popular. As you can see, we're stern tied again. And there's, there's two kind of close anchorages that are uh, listed where you could hit both. There's the Bustard Islands and Bad River, but they're also within dinging distance. And that's what we're doing because there's some weather coming up. So we're gonna cut off one day uh, of our trip here. So two nights here. And we dinged over to Bad River where there are falls that you do in your dinghy. Yep. And uh, it's so fun. It's it, I mean, if you've been to a water park, I mean, you've been in the falls, or if you've been whitewater rafting, we both have, uh, it seems like no big deal, but it is a big deal when you're doing it in your dinghy that you love, that has an engine with props that you love. Um, but we That's got- That's under contract to be sold because it goes with the boat uh, right. as we finish our loop and sell the boat. Uh, so a lot we of- We got local knowledge. A lot of nerves, but um, uh, it was awesome. Yeah. A amazing fun and uh, just a really incredible spot, so. Yeah, uh, we'll get do a whole video next week on that. How about because uh, we just mm -hmm. had an incredible time yeah. and maybe make a good video. So, <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us for another Friday happy hour. These are kind of coming to an end as yeah. we near like three weeks away from finishing our loop, and so uh, it's bittersweet here aboard Witness. We are savoring these last moments on our boat uh, in these amazing places. Yeah, this is a good place to to end it because it's just gorgeous and wild and. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of chilling out 
Yeah, and the loons here, we are listening to the loons, the loons the in the morning and in the evening. And uh, if you've seen the movie On Golden Pond, uh, that kind of ha has an emotional uh, pull as well. And so uh, we feel the end of our loop coming and the loons are signaling it here uh, in Georgian Bay. So thank you for joining. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. That's it, folks. The loons, they've come around to say goodbye. <laughs>